let's bring in a lawyer to talk about just this. Wow. Right? Here, and here I am. Well, we are very lucky today to have Jamie Ben Ezrin, the CEO and founder of Legal Logic. Yes. Everyone has the right to contest a traffic ticket. Now, my, my, the number one thing that people do um, kind of inadvertently thinking that they're doing themselves a favor is writing on the back of that ticket. When, it's, when it gives you a whole little section to contest or, or to give your explanations, be careful because you do things spontaneously. Sometimes you're putting something in that can hurt you in the event of, tri of a trial. So be careful what you write. It's not mandatory to put any explanations. Everyone has the right to contest. Okay. And if you want to plead guilty halfway through or even when you're in front of the judge, you can do that. You can always change your plea. But anyone's allowed to contest their traffic ticket. How long does it take? So you got 30 days from the issuance of the ticket. You got to check that not guilty box. You send it in. You know, maybe you'll call your lawyer. You get some tips in between. But it's really as simple as that. It's a free process. If you lose at the end, there could be some administrative fees. Mm -hmm. But it's open. Everyone has the right to exercise. You know, to, to plead not guilty and, and, and uh, you know give their get their chance in court. And for me, this is this is you know this is almost therapeutic for a lot of people. They want to get the chance. This is people's first access to justice. This is Judge Judy style when you go in front of the, the judge and you're giving, you know, you're venting. Right. So it's, you know, this is therapy for a lot of people.